This is Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 29. The objective is to connect division by a unit fraction to division by one-tenth and one-hundredth. This lesson covers standards 5OA1, 5NBT7, and 5NF7. This is problem 1A from the homework. The directions read to rewrite each expression as a division sentence with a fraction divisor. So I know that this second number, 0 and 1 tenths, is my divisor. Now that's my divisor. So if I were to rewrite this as a fraction, I would write 9 divided by 1 tenth. Well, when I remember my rule of leave it, change it, flip it, this 9 is really a 9 over 1, and I can multiply across. 9 times 10 is 90, 1 times 1 is 1, and I have an answer of 90. And then I look at the questions that they asked me. It says there are blank tenths in one whole. Well, I know that there are 10 tenths equals 1, right? 10 tenths is equal to 1 whole. How many tenths are in 9 holes? So in this 9 holes, I found that there were 90 tenths. Let's try another one. Okay, this is problem 1E from the homework, and this one reads 3 divided by 1 hundredth. So if I were to rewrite this equation, turning my divisor into a fraction, I would write 3 divided by 1 over 100. Now when I do my method of leave it, change it, flip it, I can multiply across. This 3 is really a 3 over 1. 3 times 100 equals 300. 1 times 1 equals 1. 300 divided by 1 is 300. Now when I look at my question up here, there are blank hundredths in one whole in one whole. So that means there are 100 hundredths in one whole. How many hundredths are in three holes? That would be 300. We can see that when I divided 3 by 1 hundredth, I got 3 hundredths.